its first workshop day with the project. Uh, I mean, we're sort of saying, calling it shit stain, but we're actually not even sure if it's going to stay that way. But we now need to address a couple of the things that are faulty on the car. Uh, we first want to send it through a roadworthy because none of us have a double cab, none of us have a double axle car trailer. Come join us here. Oh. And um, getting this to and from the, the, the track is actually going to be a little bit of a challenge. So we want to be able to drive it there. So, and in order to put it in our names and register it and all that type of thing, it needs to be roadworthy. So the first step in everything is getting it roadworthy. So what do we think we're going to tackle today? Lights. Brakes. Let's do brakes. Yeah. Okay. Brakes, and if we get the time, let's do lights. Lights. Yeah, because the wiring's a little oof. No, the LED bulbs. Oh, <laughs> LED bulbs. Yeah. No. Yes. It, was, uh, it was a selling point, apparently. <laughs> that LED bulbs, yeah, are, are all over the place. And of course, a, a traditional LED bulb doesn't really like a 12 volt electrical system. No, so that no, doesn't like 80s electrical <laughs> systems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. During during the sales pitch. When we were negotiating price, we got. Um, remember, guys, it has LED globes. Uh, that that was. Don't the forget point. the LED globes. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a pitch. Uh, uh, that, was, that was the first thing you did. And I tell you what, we'll test them. Yeah, let's test. Them. Let, let, let's see. Okay, so we're going to run around the car, and we're going to see which lights work and which lights don't. So this is just one of those little irritating things. But Ray, you you're more on the electrical side anyway. I'll fix that. So you're going to tackle that. Yeah. Isn't brown and black wires supposed to connect to red wires? Same. Doesn't matter. Same thing. Yeah. 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 Just don't let the smoke out because it's a mission to get that smoke <sighs> back in. And once you let that smoke out, no, it gone. stops working. Yeah, uh, so leave, leave the smoke here. Yeah. The cars run on, <laughs> cars run on smoke. And uh, Megs, you and myself, I think we jack up and we start getting wheels off yeah. and we just take a look at where the faulty yeah, yeah. Brake, uh, brake system is. I so my, my, my train of thought, yeah. if I may, thought this through a little bit. One wheel at a time, we look for leaks. So get the boots off, is there a leak? There's no leak, put it back, because then it's not leaking there. Yeah. So we check, this, we check the, 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 the calipers, we check the slaves. If there aren't leaks there, we bleed it and look where it's pushing back. Yeah, okay. So let's look for leaks first, because I mean, if there's a brake leak, it will leak somewhere. Yeah. So let's check all the slaves. In theory. And if there's not, none of the slaves are leaking, we, we get and take the master off. Okay, so this is going to be a job that we're essentially going to do twice. We're going to get it right for roadworthy, and then we're going to look at it later down the line. When we upgrade. When we're making it race ready. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, but I'm, I'm happy with that because let's just, let's throw band-aids over whatever we can in the meantime and get just this through that roadworthy. So that then we can, can start stripping this bitch. Yeah, so that we can actually, because we want to leave the interior in for the roadworthy, as tatty as it is, but it needs to go. It really does need to go. Yes, we need carbon fiber dash. <laughs> That's your department. I know. We're in the carbon fiber workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gabriel, Technomatics. That just went through the floorboard. <laughs> oh, cute. At what point are we going to be able to see where it's leaking when there's so much shit on there? Oh, my spacer for the win. <laughs> Dude, this is exactly the same towers and everything as the 86. Oh, we can have the actual end of it. Oh, here's the fuel pump. Oh, is it, is it? Look, look there. Yeah, there. Oh, very good. Yeah. Is this in gear or is it just jammed? I can't believe that we were actually prepared to drive <laughs> all the way from Kruisdorp on something that has so many cracks in it. I mean, we've got thread coming through. Oh, there we go. What the mm. hell? <laughs> no, no. We were, we were very impressed that you actually no. did, did what you did, Danya. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Okay. All right, so we've also climbed in here and jeepers, take a look at this mess. So the drum is caked in brake fluid. Clearly we've got some leaky seals here. We're going to pull these off. That's just oh, oh, manky for bay. Yeah, sure, kick everything. All right, let's replace some of these seals. I mean, these shocks look fairly new. Well, I've got spares. They're not leaking no. well. No, they're not, they're not leaking, leaking, but yeah. All right, so here's 
one of our brake fluid problems. And I don't know if you guys noticed how leaky that diff is. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> okay, let's get these boots off. Replacing these anyway. So this is not a big deal. You could probably not even just get a seal kit, but probably get the whole cylinder. You'll get a slave cylinder cheap enough, but if the slave cylinder's bore looks okay, then we can then we can use it. Get away with the seal kit. Yeah. Okay. That actually doesn't look terrible. But we'll check the bore. The bore also looks good, eh? Let's get them out. We just want to get it. Man, are you booking a one-way ticket to a far-off destination? <laughs> Go get kits. Okay, get it in there. I'm not touching it. Nice, nice. I'm the only one, eh? Yeah, yeah. Got to get your hands dirty. Listen, the brake cleaner stuff is expensive, and we're wasting it, eh? Oh no. What's up guys? So yeah, uh, obviously you saw the first video, they said there was four of us, I'm the fourth. Uh, <laughs> name's Darren. Superfly. AKA Superfly. And I'm sure you see my car on the road, the GWM CB150, otherwise known as the Toaster. And uh, what better car to use than a Jap car for a lemon? Okay. This piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mm. this looks like a fucking Tinder date. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was exactly that. Oh. I've seen something better on Tinder. Huh? Yeah, I've had better Tinder dates. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What size motor is this? 1800. We're keeping it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. No, so we want to keep this motor in here because it's a tried and tested motor, it's reliable, it's basic. Mm. It actually is a nice peppy motor. Mm. Honestly, it's a good motor. I mean, you can uh, cook your bacon and eggs in there. Uh, Rev. <laughs> so, I'm getting stuck in as well, believe it or not. I know I normally pay a bar. Edenville to work on my car. <laughs> but, nice uh, cheap plug. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, sometimes you've got to get your hands dirty and get a better understanding of the car so when we're on the track side and something breaks, we know how to fix it. Yeah, because once, because once the lemons is done, we all four of us will be entering it into the historics for Dakar. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Are you drunk? Dude, what, no, this car, to... not that car. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, yeah. But John, yeah, I mean, the better, the, the best thing to do if, if, if you're gonna be racing on a shoestring budget like the Lemons is, is familiarize yourself with the car. So if anything goes wrong, you like either suss out what it is and you can know how to fix it and how quickly you can fix it. I mean, we know for a fact that doing drums will take us a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> then we will just retire yeah. the race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but no, that's a very valid point. Yeah. I mean, when we're sitting there, we're doing endurance racing and we sit there and the, the car's got an issue, we've got to be able to identify it quickly and repair it quickly exactly. if we can. And exactly, no. familiarizing ourselves and knowing how drums work and how they go on and off and that sort of stuff is invaluable experience. So, yeah. The uh, stain has already started uh, no, it's teaching, teaching us stuff. It's, it's earning its keep here. It's uh, uh, by the way, just show everyone what you're doing because I'm sure everybody's wondering if you're having a uh, Mac Flurry with a paintbrush. No, 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 no. We got, uh, we got some of the parts in there and we're just giving it a little bit of a, a degrease and a clean. It's that, that actually looks properly, like a coffee Mac Flurry. Probably tastes the same too. <laughs> tastes <of> McDonald's. <laughs> Guess we're not getting that McDonald's sponsorship. Aw, damn it, Chad. No, 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 not loving it. <laughs> Just a quick recap, uh, tell us what you're doing on this side, but with your Scottish accent. Alright, so what we're doing here laddies, is we've taken down the drums because we haven't got bagpipes, 
and we want to see if this thing's going to break. So what we're doing is we're cleaning it with iron bre. Iron bre. <laughs> iron bre. <laughs> How can you not have any iron bre? <laughs> So Megs and myself just came back from a from a spares run, but we were met with, well, a face like thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Just everybody put your hands in the air. You start. Well, show them. Where's yours? In my pockets, because I've been all day. <laughs> okay. Spot the epi. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. Yeah. It goes for a chassis wash. <laughs> no. What is that? That's what came out of the one one break. Eesh. Go on, you come burning to um, discs at the back? Yeah, but we need to get it through road burning first. Why are we road burning? Because we're gonna put it on our Because we wanna drive okay. it to the track. The lights need to work. Okay. Alright, sweet. We also need to make sure that the, the brakes work. So we'll just put one on the brakes. I understand the heater needs to work, so I'm going to see if you can jam one in the heater there quickly. No, fuck it. There we go. Right. Now. Now it's roadworthy. It's roadworthy. <laughs> So, we are still here by the shit stain, and um, I thought I would just show that Chad is actually cleaning still. I mean, what do we, we, we've been doing this for what now about? Well, we've been talking shit for we, we, three quarters of the time that we should actually we be doing stuff. We have been, but jeepers. So we had a, a, a leaky slave cylinder here at the back, um, up top here, that slave cylinder over there um, was leaky, of course, it blows through the seals there. And uh, we ran around, we went and got those parts, but now we just want to clean it because we don't want to have to work with this muck. And because it's all been leaking in this drum, it's just... Yeah, it's working now. Hi, Darren. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Look, Mom, I'm famous! <laughs> Can you go back to uh, Chad complaining over here, um, before the battery died? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the Chad battery. having a stroke or two? All the, all the, battery, all the, the, the batteries are, are a little pop. Well, this one says 98%, so we're good to go. We're good to go, okay. He exhausted that one. Where's the other one? Oh, there. Carb cleaner! Oh! Carb cleaner, brake cleaner, same shit. Did we start brake cleaner from when we did? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so let me let me just walk around here and point out the obvious. So now that Chad has actually cleaned that, so that was red. So that was racing red because you know, spraying your um, your drum you know, racing red shows that the car is fast. Mm -hmm. um, but as you can see, it used to be red, but you see little black dots on there. So after some ten seconds of thought, we realised that. The rim is black. So the guy literally left the rim on the car and sprayed the rims black, making all those little cheetah stains around there. <laughs> the, the, the height of being lazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to Chad. So just, just show the inside of that wheel. So the wheel balance is completely out because of all the caking from the brakes. But it's equal caking, so maybe the wheel balance is still fine. I don't think the previous owner owned a jack. No. 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 So, Chad is still there cleaning. So, hi, Chad. Hi. No, you're supposed to say hi, Chad. After oh, Or just hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I'm not hi whatsoever. <laughs> Cob cleaner, hi. Hi. <laughs> Just taking a chisel to this, this kind of reminds me of chicks today, you know, with the chiseling features. <laughs> with all the, like all all the, the makeup. The makeup cake on there. But I mean, we're already lightening the wheels. Race class. Exactly. Like, 
But holy shit. chunky monkeys. <laughs> that is gaff of note. Yeah, that's rough. That's what you call caking a wheel. Doing a good job, Chad. We support you. Mm, thank you. We have a moral support. So Raymond had a point about if we want to see how this all works. Oh, is, how to put it back together. Yeah. <laughs> do the other side, but um, <laughs> right. So while Chad is pondering, it looks like we are going to be taking uh, Raymond's advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Who knew? The guy knows something. We kind of jacked up this side already. Yeah, this side is actually leaking as well, eh? Is it? Yeah, it's very wet. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, so don't judge me. Don't strip anything yet. No, no, we're just taking off the drum. Oh, no, I'm trying to take okay. off the drum. Oops! Wow. That was so hard. Okay, that was easy. Alright. Oh, wow. Dude. Yeah. This side is rough. <laughs> is it? Rougher yeah. than a bear's. I mean, sphincter. Look at that. Yeah, no, but we did see that, eh? Yeah. We did see that. That wheel bearing's gonna need doing. Yeah. We're gonna look like a taxi with the whole wheel comes off at the shop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we can see where the... Uh... Is that side turning, by the way? Yeah. Because your it feels rough, yeah. Um, the side shaft is bent. <laughs> is it? It goes like that. Sure. Is it the shaft itself, or is it not just maybe the hub? I don't know. The hub could be dented, or it could be the shaft. I think that shaft may be bent, you're right. Yeah. That's probably what's chewed the bearing. So after much deliberation, we are no closer than what we were 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but we have an understanding of what's happening at least. Do we it's, know? it's vague, but yeah, I suppose you could call it an understanding. Either way. I'm gonna go another side. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> oh, Felicia. Here we go. I mean, these are the wheels that we'd like to fit, so... Damn, boy! Use this thick! <laughs> Some chunky monkey. No. Get it in there, Chad. Oh, get it in the there. Chad. Good. The Chad is great. <laughs> Chad was also stuck. Let's not forget about that. Mm. It's just a bit of a breakdown. You know, I'd, I'd like to meet the engineer Toyota that thought these wheel nuts were a good idea. Yeah, but those are the wrong wheel nuts now. No, these, these are right. right these are right, these are the Toyota spec ones. So what we've Before established grip, is that... Um, it has to get the silica wheels? Yes. Listen, we're, do we're doing this just to see what it looks like, so... I'm not going to force those things up. But, uh, Mixie, you want to help me here? You want to jack up there, mate? Alright, I'll just I'll dress it out. <laughs> Do we? Got positive camber. <laughs> oh, let's get out of it. So, what do you think, Miguel? I think it actually looks pretty decent. Rims make a car. That they do, eh? Rimmeth maketh the car. It needs a set of silica wheels, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's period correct. They fit. They're white boys. Yes. So, anybody out there with a set of silica wheels, hit us up. Uh, silica yeah. Supra? Yeah, Silica Supra wheels. Yeah. Yeah. These ones. So we've got one corner done. It's been a rather bit of a chore. Most of us are accustomed to discs. Um, haven't worked with drums in ages. Um, never worked with drums. Or never worked with drums at all. And just seeing the hodgepodge mix match of springs and clips that have been used in these corners, yeah, absolute nightmare. But we've got a corner done. We don't know if it's gonna blow out a seal or not. Uh, we're gonna tackle the other corner now as well. I don't think you need to really see that and hopefully these brakes are going to hold up yeah but um, well we definitely need new shoes 
I mean, those things were... No, my shoes are rather tight. Not your shoe shoes. Those shoes! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be... It's Where gonna... did you find this one? He followed me home. I am it's an extra spring. Yeah, that's alarming. It is. Oh, it's weight reduction. Okay. But I couldn't figure out where it went back. So we were a little perplexed because we had a spring left over when we reassembled everything and we thought, oh, you're probably not going to see that there, had a spring left over. And, um, well, the news is that this isn't that spring that was left over. This is a spring that was actually inside the slave cylinder that, because we're idiots, we didn't replace. So we assembled the entire thing, struggled with it immensely, and then now stripping the second corner, we've realized where that spring goes. Frankly, there's a part of me that's just tempted to leave it out. I mean, <laughs> how bad can it be? Even me. How about now, you crazy Dutch <laughs> bastard? You put that spring back in. You need a spring in our stepmother. <laughs> so we have a we have a group we have a, a, a WhatsApp group where we chat to each other about this, and I think that this is going to be one of our first democratic votes that carries a little <laughs> bit of weight. Do we strip it down and put the spring back in, or do we just wing it? Wing it. So I think Migs and myself are on the on the side of wing it here. Darren's for re replace it, put it back in, and uh, I think Raymond's going to have the swing vote. If, he, if he's like, nah, what's the worst that can happen? Darren stood out a lot. Seventy-five percent rule. Seventy-five percent rule. This is a democratic team. This, this ain't no Mercedes AMG F1 team. <laughs> See what you did there. Ah, and I don't even watch Formula One. <laughs> I mean, okay. If you know whether it's a good or bad idea, leave a comment below <laughs> and tell us, because I get a feeling that we're going to be schooled on drum brakes pretty shortly and <laughs> rinsed in this comment section. <laughs> I mean, we still don't know. I mean, we, we, we're possibly going to put our foot on the, the, the brake pedal here and it's just going to blow out those seals. We've probably yeah. done, we could have done them completely the wrong way, but we need to do the other corner as well before we can really test that. So let's get stuck in there. Big chore with this is just getting all the cleaning work done. Cleaning work is a pain in the butt, man. That's something that I'll pay somebody else to do. Yeah, so if anybody would like to come and clean, please let us know. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah, where's Ray? where's Ray? He was doing such a great job cleaning. Yeah. He really was. Oh. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Catch you on the next episode.